The family of a teenager killed in a South Baltimore car wreck is wondering why it took so long to get answers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Roosevelt Leftwich. The fatal crash happened at the intersection of West Patapsco and Poteet Streets on October 3rd, but the family of the teenager killed says they waited nearly a week to find out any details. ABC2 News' Brian Kubler has the latest. 19-year-old Andrew McCoy's parents say he lived for the day, but on the night of October 3rd, he would lose his life. The car he was riding in was in a head-on collision here at the intersection of West Patapsco and Poteet Streets in South Baltimore. McCoy, a passenger, was thrown from the car and killed. He was beautiful. He was a, he was a beautiful person. He was, uh, he was always happy, and it made everyone around him happy. So, and he was loved by a lot of people. Not just by his family, but friends. McCoy was an avid skateboarder, and at a skateboard park near his Glen Birdie home, a message spray-painted directly in the middle. A life of just 19 years, McCoy touched many. Not deserving, his parents say, of an accident investigation that took nearly a week before they would learn even basic details. We've been told that it will probably take at least several weeks to do the entire investigation, and we certainly understand that. Um, but having almost no details for nearly a week was very frustrating for us not to be able to know anything. It was several days before the shares would even learn an off-duty Annapolis police officer was driving the other car. They also have yet to receive their son's personal effects, like his wallet or cell phone. A delay Baltimore City Police regret. It was simply just a perfect storm of, of miscommunication. And uh, again, there was no malice towards the family or any attempt to, to cover anything up or hide anything. At the time, city police were dealing with a traffic fatality of one of their own, Officer James Fowler, and asked MTA police to handle McCoy's accident. The investigation has since been turned back over to city police. A transfer authority say caused the delay in even some of the most basic facts surrounding McCoy's death. The only thing that we had seen in the news was just he was an unidentified passenger. and we, we didn't want his memory to be as an unidentified passenger. We wanted people to know that there was a human being behind that label. With a family patiently waiting to find out just how their son died and who, if anyone, is at fault. In Glen Burnie, Brian Kubler, ABC2 News. Police say it will take a few weeks to complete their investigation into exactly what happened that night. The Annapolis police officer has been placed on desk duty until that report is written.